This Chinese humanoid robot kicked its creator to the ground to prove it's real. The humanoid is the T-800 from Engine AI, and it's preparing for battle as the startup aggressively scales production with substantial financial backing. Also, one of the world's largest home appliance manufacturers is pushing this six-armed beast into the industrial workforce. The rising Shenzhen startup engine just shared this dramatic footage of its founder and CEO, Zhao Tongyang, getting knocked to the ground from several angles. A week after formally launching its new humanoid that's inspired by Skynet's iconic synthetic human from the Terminator series. The video went viral across social media in China and in the West. While many found it alarming and praised the founder's bravery, others said it looked staged. This popular X account questioned whether the kick's force was really enough to knock the founder over. Engine has been met with skepticism since it emerged from seemingly out of nowhere in fall 2024 with its cyberpunk flagship humanoid, the SE-1, and its freakishly human-like walking gait. Zhao Tongyang launched the robotics firm in 2023 after leaving Xpeng, where the serial entrepreneur led the Guangzhou-based EV Makers Humanoid program. He oversaw the development of early prototypes which have evolved into Xpeng's flagship fake human, Iron. Like Engine, Xpeng has gone to great lengths to prove that its humanoid robot is real. In this footage, engineers undress the latest iteration and cut through its synthetic skin revealing its inner mechanics to show it's not a person in a costume. Without his protective gear, the blow likely would have broken several ribs and caused potentially life-threatening injuries to internal organs. According to Engine, the T-800's peak joint force reaches 450 newton meters, which on paper surpasses 90% of men in their prime. It's exceptionally high for humanoids, but behind another recently unveiled Chinese robot, the Fibot M1 which reportedly reached 530 newton meters in lab tests. The higher torque means the robots can in theory outperform their peers and even some industrial robot arms in strength-based tasks. However, that's assuming their balance and control systems, their sensors, and their build quality are in the same league as their contemporaries. Engine says the T-800 stands 173 centimeters or 5 feet 8 inches and weighs 75 kilos, or 165 pounds. It features an aerospace-grade aluminum alloy build, 29 degrees of freedom in its body, and three fingered end defectors with seven degrees of freedom each. It operates for about five hours with its solid-state battery. Engine is pitching the new robot as a full-scale labor replacement solution for industrial, commercial, and even public service jobs like policing and directing traffic. The robot runs on engine self-developed artificial intelligence, which is becoming particularly fierce as the T-800 trains for what engine calls the world's first full-size humanoid robot boxing tournament scheduled for late December 2025. The startup has begun taking orders for the T-800 for prices starting around $25,000. The ultimate industrial grade edition begins at $50,000. As reported by X RoboHub, orders require a $700 deposit and shipments are expected to commence around June 2026. Engine also offers a compact humanoid, the PM1, which was initially priced under $15,000 to undercut Unitree's viral G1. The startup's team of about 150 is scaling production of humanoid and quadrupedal robots after securing nearly $140 million in funding. Its lead investor is JD.com, one of China's most popular e-commerce platforms. Through the partnership, Engine and JD have launched a Gen Z-themed storefront under the JD Home umbrella in Shenzhen. As humanoid robots become more advanced, they're evolving into forms that go beyond mimicking the human form factor. Medea Group, one of the world's largest home appliance manufacturers, just unveiled what it calls the world's first six-armed humanoid robot. The Foshan-based company possesses significant in-house robotics capabilities, 
and an industrial customer base to sell into thanks to its 2016 acquisition of KUKA, a German industrial automation leader. Medea made its humanoid ambitions public in March 2025 when it showed its first prototype and announced a dedicated humanoid robot innovation center. Medea says it's developing a suite of wheeled, bipedal, and so-called superhumanoid robots. Its first superhumanoid is called Miroyu, which has three arms on each side of its torso for industrial applications where efficiency matters more than human-like aesthetics. According to Medea, the six-armed robot unlocks multitask capabilities previously impossible for two-armed humanoids. Built on a heavy-duty wheeled autonomous base, the Miro use mechanical arm support switching between different modular end effectors like grippers and dexterous five-fingered hands. Medea plans to validate its robots at its own facilities before attempting wider commercialization. Founded in 1968, Medea runs 63 production bases with a workforce exceeding 150,000 people. The manufacturer says it plans to deploy the robot on a high-end washing machine production line in Wuxi imminently, aiming for a 30% boost in line change efficiency. Its two-armed wheeled humanoid, Miro, is reportedly performing material transport, tub handling, and other repetitive tasks at a Jingzhou factory. Medea is one of several home appliance makers getting into the humanoid robotics fray. It's history repeating itself. I am Electro, mightiest of all robots. Automotive manufacturers jolted today's humanoid race. But one of the earliest and most iconic real-world robots was built by a home appliance giant. Westinghouse introduced Electro and its mechanical dog Spargo at the 1939 World's Fair alongside its cutting-edge electric refrigerators and early washing machines. The unveiling was immortalized in this footage from Westinghouse's corporate propaganda film, The Middleton Family at the New York World's Fair. In South Korea, LG Electronics recently announced it's working with the Korea Institute of Technology on a next-gen humanoid platform called CapEx. It's powered by LG's proprietary large-scale AI models. They're aiming for autonomous functionality in homes, offices, and commercial spaces. Another Chinese firm, Shandong-based Hire, unveiled its first humanoid, called Hiva Haiwa, in mid-2025. The household-oriented robot integrates directly with Hire's appliances and is designed for chores like cleaning, laundry, and basic kitchen tasks. The Wheeled Robot is a customized version of the Q5 humanoid by Robot Era, a Beijing startup backed by the home appliance giant. For a comprehensive look at Robot Era's humanoids and other human-like machines to watch out for in 2026, check the related video.